so high on Grill Dad? I don't know. Call and Tweed. Tweed. That's what I was trying to remember what this fucking jacket was made out of. Alright. Uh, can click to continue. Aziago Getter. One of three. That's amazing. Aziago Getter. Oh god, it's a dead punch. I get it! I'm doing after word jumbles. I hear a mail truck pull up. Cul de sac. I wonder if we'll get any coupons today. A nice mail person slides a couple of letters into a large yellow envelope through the slot. Takes a couple of tries for them to get in. Oh, oh hey, my coupons. And see a large yellow envelope. Hmm. Well, you knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you wanted this big old envelope we got from HIA. You can fit, get it when you're done masturbating or whatever you're doing. Yeah. Immediately, Amanda pushes the door open. God, I hope she wasn't then. Uh, <laughs> Hard is to do for the hearts. Her room looks like the average artsy teenage girl I've known. Yeah. Except at least one of those should be a pot plant. <laughs> I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please! I enter the envelope. What did you just open with her teeth? It's probably bad for your teeth. It's just paper. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of the envelope. Pulls out an envelope oh. and unfolds it. And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. And his face is unreadable. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. All right. I got in! Oh! I got in! And tosses the letter aside and gives you a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh, oh my god. god. I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student and nailed that interview. And your photography is incredible. Uh -huh. Wait, Dad, mm. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment. Angela was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know that in her heart she has said to her for the longest time, it's a shame we don't have a job. It'll be tough, but we're going to make it work. Mm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Mm. Wherever? Man and I walk along the bayside, tearing into one foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. I mean, to be fair. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad. You know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rito with a view. Nobody calls it a Rito. I can't say I'm mad. Man, I sat on a patch of grass and watched ships sail lazily through the bay. <laughs> I thought I was going to say sky for some reason. Uh. We have airships here in Maple Bay. It happens. And the dorms are right next to a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID. Amanda, slow down. You're going to choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors, and that we all get the professional photo editing software for free? It's not really free if it's included in your mm. tuition, honey. Nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic. At HI, but I wish you wouldn't do it in between bites of burrito. I thought I taught her to chew her mouth with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with similar major and interests. I bet we're gonna be the best friends. We'll end up going with fucking Brian's daughter. Like, I'm 10 and I'm already in the college that you've been trying to get to your entire life. Hi. And I'm not at all artistic. Nope. Drowner. Craig and I, who were a good roommate, can be a lifelong friend. Don't ever get me started on bad roommates. Mm. Oh no. Just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. But our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig had brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like dogs bark. <laughs> Car ruled. Yeah. They let you have animals in the dorm if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit, though? Yes. Oh, boy. I think I'll leave all that up to you. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint it, but I need for real. So, uh, but I need to be real for a second. So that talk I had with Mr. Vega. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No, I've already met his son. <laughs> 
but I don't want to put a damper on the good news. But I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. Okay. Alright. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. But I think you can handle a 14-hour drive. Come home for the holidays. There's going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross. Uh, don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up, and now you're such a good person, and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. Too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Love you, kiddo. <laughs> Love you, too, folks. <laughs> it's rude Welcome. to ask other people about You've their mysterious dads. hand tattoos. So do we just want to keep going for Hugo, or do we want to, like, start dating other people, too? What if we... Well, why don't we go through one relationship, because we could actually probably finish him tonight. Finish him. So why don't we go with the uh, through the him, and then if we want to do this, we can actually... Yeah, you know, like, record again another father tomorrow. Okay. And I don't know if you have to start a new dad or you can just no, throw No, you in. can, like, save before you go on your third date and then just reload that save and, and start on uh, another Yeah, dad. then let's, let's romance one. Let's focus on dads. All right, well, let's take a little break real quick. Uh, six minutes into an episode. So, why don't we, um... Well, we've got, like... Well, fuck it, then I guess we'll just keep going. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, once we hit 20 minutes, I'll just blah, 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 and then we can take a break. Technicals. Yes, go. All right. You go. Cody. A bird in the hand is better than a bird in the eye. It's, it's not, not wrong. wrong. What a fun an aquarium. Time to message him on Dad Buck. We get it. You're using Dad Buck. Hey, still want a cheese board? Yes. Colin is still being a you, humongous shithead. He won't stop sending the same picture of Jackie Chan and a mess shirt to the printer. And it's a nice picture, but it's wasting all my paper. Whoops, sorry, meant that for another teacher. But seriously, he's insufferable. There's pictures of Jackie Chan everywhere. Ha, <laughs> ah, let me get back to you after class ends. My computer stretch. I guess there's only one thing to do now. Dad nap. <laughs> Mouch and turn on the Antiques Road Warrior for background Yes. News. This is an ornate cabinet from a yard sale over $5 in 1982. The old that it once belonged to a Confederate general is a huge surprise. This will feed my tribe for weeks. <laughs> the prey and voice echoes through the mouthpiece and leather armor bondage gear. Maybe this is that ASMR thing Amanda keeps telling me about. I drift off, drift off to sleep. Uh, I jolted awake by a dad book message from Hugo. Hey, sorry about that. Colin's in the principal's office now. He says he knows Jackie Chan personally and that Jackie won't be happy to hear this. I get off work in a little while and I continue to be very serious about the cheese boards. I fumble out a reply. Yeah, so am I. I work out the details and I'll set to meet him in a few hours. No, I store it just I'm about to leave. What's up, Buttercup? Hmm. Oh, just getting home from school? Where are you going? I'm meeting with the board. The board? A cheese board is what I meant. I'm getting cheese with your teacher. You'll be able to fend for yourself until dinner time. Hmm. Yeah, I'll live, but only if you can talk him into going easy on me for the final. Sorry, buddy. That ball's in your court. What's in my court, you ask? Just a variety of delicious cheeses, meats, and their accompanying crackers. Maybe some olives, a little bit of fig jam. Dad. Oh, fuck you. Yes, yes, I get it. You're excited about the cheese. Sweetie, you'll get it one day. But now, I gotta go see a man about some Manashego. Oh, that's what he's talking about. It's cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's probably why Wait, they Wait, isn't that the sheep's milk cheese that we got from Costco the one time? We'll Google it in between, uh... I was about to say, I don't start with an M. Please, Please leave. leave. <laughs> hmm, 
quite French diner, Hugo waves me down into a booth in the corner. He looks pretty tired. Long day. <sighs> Every day is a long day when you teach middle schoolers. Ah. Colin started a gambling ring. The pictures of Jackie Chan were just a cover. He's bartering in those little rubber band bracelets that are also shapes. Yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> I know. My parents think we can sex stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a thing that you will think. Yeah. Those ones, yeah. But the reports are just the sensationalist news media capitalizing on the fears of suburban parents as usual. I don't know. At least I hope. Yikes. Oh. Right now, I'm very ready for some fine wine and some delicious cheese. I'm with you. Oh, wait, just stops by to take orders for the biggest cheese platter you have for the love of God. Please just put cheese in my mouth and recommends <laughs> us some wine. Do you want a scorecard for the trivia? There's trivia. Yep, we're starting in a few minutes. Pretty much everyone here is playing. Oh. We'd love to play, right, Solomon? All right. Yeah, sure. I'm good at trivia. Then just a scorecard and a few pencils before leaving. Well, you might not be much help here. I'm not very good at being smart, I guess. Look at that face. You know what he's good at? Being a snake. He looks like he gets... Honestly, our character looks like they've gotten through life fucking like a weasel, and that's how they've accomplished anything. Yes. I'm... I I support this headcanon. Come on, I doubt it'll be too hard. Oh, that's always disappointing. Solomon. Oh my god. I got the fucking perfect is her there. The father who will love his child no matter what she does because she is awesome. Yeah. And, you know, snake twink and tea English teacher. <laughs> ready for trivia. <laughs> hey guys, we're all here for the odd question and answer game. Hey. Yep, we come here every week, but Brian and Daisy ca uh, carry the team. Carmen, Sita, and I are just here for the cheese. Yes! Aha! <laughs> Home Alone 2 lost in New York. Have you been reigning champions for the last... Or we have, or have been reigning champions for the last month. And Brian's great trivia too. That raises the stakes. Great name, though. Solid team name. That's Carmen Cita's claim to fame. It hurts me how good I am at puns. <laughs> like father, like daughter. Hey, dude. You guys gonna try and give us a run for the money? Ah. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll see what we can do not to hurt your feelings too bad. Or, I'm gonna, I gotta save, because I want to see what I will destroy you guys. I raise your homesteads and burn your crops, salting the earth in my wake. You look upon the sky and ask, oh, I'm caring God, why have you been forsaken? You will not, you will hear nothing in return. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, no. Oh, that's what I would say is the problem. Yeah, me too. Uh, go with the middle one. Let's we'll see what we can do not to hurt your feelings too bad. Tastes so much better with the side of victory. Yay! Here we go, and I bump fists. Tag team champions. Hmm. We'll have to think of a good team name, but I think this will be fun. Ooh. Good luck! Let me save again, just so I don't accidentally load something back a thousand places. Alright, right, they all fuck off. The daughters head back to the table. Well, I guess we need a name. Hmm. Got any good ideas? Itsy Bree Beautiful. Havarti, like it's 1999. Ah, real monsters. I'm liking that. Craigslist, I'm liking ah, real monsters. I kind of like it too, but it's probably not classy enough for him. Well, he didn't give a negative reaction. But. Well, let's see what the other ones were. I said, this is, this is not a professional. We're going through it. You know, one um, try. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's let's see. go with Havarti, like it's 1999. I don't know. He looks like he might like Prince. Easy breezy, beautiful. Isn't that like the Cover Girl logo? Yes, that is literally the Cover Craigslist, Girl. Craigslist, Craigslist, sweet Swiss connection. Yeah, I've already liked Nineteen Ninety Nine. Okay. Right, I'm curious to see if any of them actually give a positive reaction. Yeah, me too. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with easy, oh. breezy, beautiful. Alright, apparently he just doesn't fucking care. Right, I'm gonna try the last one, just yeah. out of curiosity. Like, if this actually matters. 
Hmm. Well, I guess we are somehow turning into walkthrough because we're definitely coming. Yeah, okay, nothing matters. Then we're going to go back to our real monsters. Yeah, that's fair. Because the rest of them are just kind of meh. Yeah. Obscure hmm. Nickelodeon cartoons? Yes, please. Waitress comes by with a cheese board and real in its glory. Already I can see a piece of cheddar with my name on it. I pair it with some strawberry preserves. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess you don't. There's such a fine variety of cheese and... Shakuri? Yeah, I don't... Shashutere? I, I don't know. That I'm positively overwhelmed. A quick dip into the seasoned nuts. Giggity. Eh. A slice of savory yet salty gouda. <laughs> For some reason it looks like it said ghoul. Or perhaps a... Focaccia. Focaccia crisp topped with honey and goat cheese. I'm so happy. <laughs> Here is his glass to me. Ah. Cheers to cheese. Yes. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, actually, this will be a good place to call this episode. It'll just be a little short. But I have to pee.